Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Hello, everybody. These are crazy times, and uh, I just wanted to take the opportunity to talk like this for a couple of reasons. Firstly, to bring you up to date with what was discussed at the church meeting uh, and uh, the implications of all of that, but also to give us a, a chance to try out uh, these sorts of video connections because they're going to become increasingly important over the next few weeks. Thank you, first of all, for your prayers. Thank you for your prayers for the community, uh, for the church, for uh, yourselves or for ourselves as, as God's family here at NBC. Uh, this pandemic, which is causing so much uh, chaos, is, has taken us all by surprise, I think, and the implications of it all, um, we just couldn't second guess. I've uh, just recently been into Tesco's and to see so many bare shelves is really quite frightening. At our church meeting, uh, a good number joined in the conversation and I had hoped that that would be a time when we would be able to decide our uh, response together. But in the light of government information and uh, advice that we've had from all sorts of different quarters, it became much more apparent that I would need to take more of a lead in declaring that services and other gatherings and meetings at NBC would have to be, for the time being at least, cancelled. Uh, the risks of spreading the virus, even inadvertently, even unintentionally, even without us knowing, are too uh, big, too many. The risks are too many for us to take um, any chance. And so that's why we've had to take this decision. Personally, I'm really sorry. I am heartbroken at the fact I thrive on human contact. I, every time I'm away from church, I miss you. And uh, I long to be able to spend time um, engaging on a face-to-face -face level with everybody. But as I say, the risks are too large for us to play around with. This will affect things like Chatterbox, uh, Time Out, Messy Church, uh, everything that we do. It affects growth groups. The, the smaller groups that we uh, try and encourage in our own homes. I'm afraid we have to ask that everything is put on hold for the time being. It's also going to affect uh, the visit from Malawi of Francis and Annie. Uh, I had a, a WhatsApp message from Francis last evening to tell me that they feel it wisest to cancel uh, their visit to the UK. Pray for them, pray for them as a family because uh, they were coming over principally for what is a uh, passing out parade with the British Army. Uh, whether that happens or not, we don't know, but please do be praying for them and for all that's going on. This news also affects the intended visit of the BMS action team. Uh, BMS have decided that all action team visits are off uh, because of all sorts of uh, risks and dangers associated with that. It even affects the Easter presentation, the nail, that as Christians together in Nails in District, we were planning for Crown Glass Place. The management there have decided that everything needs to be canceled. Uh, so no more farmers markets for the time being. I believe very strongly in the power and the benefits and the joys of meeting together with other Christians. I thrive, as I said, uh, on that personal contact and the opportunity of, re of being in a room full of people who are all like, uh, of a like mind and uh, able to enjoy God's fellowship together. I, for one, am certainly not looking forward to this enforced and potentially fairly lengthy absence. However, whilst uh, this means the temporary closure of the building, let's remember that the church is the people, that's us. Uh, and maybe, just perhaps, this can create for us a new expression of church as God's people in this area. And I'm asking us all to be involved in the care of one another, please. I and the pastoral care team 
will go on making frequent phone calls to you, checking up on how people are, praying with you over the telephone, and uh, making offers of whatever practical help we can. Um, I've asked growth group leaders to do the same for the members of their groups. But I want to ask every one of us to just keep uh, in mind our brothers and sisters who we worship among. Get in touch, drop a text, a phone call, uh, a note through the door, um, whatever and however. But please, can I just encourage you to, to be proactive in um, looking out for each other. And by the same token, though, can I encourage you uh, to ask for help as well? If you've not had a call uh, frequently enough, then please would you pick up the phone and uh, ask me or ask somebody else in the fellowship. Even if you just want to chat to somebody in a light-hearted um, way, then that's absolutely fine. But we, we need to, to hear from one another uh, as often as is needed. Um, in terms of teaching, our planned Sunday morning preaching series is going to continue. Uh, and every message will be filmed like this uh, and put on YouTube uh, with a link for all of us to be able to access that uh, when we want to. Um, and please feel free, by the way, to pass on the login details for any of these messages to other people. It's not exclusively or only for people who are currently part of the fellowship. Let's use this as a means of sharing God's word to other people. Not everybody is on, uh, has internet access, so we will try to produce uh, DVD or at the very least CD copies of the talks. Uh, and if you uh, would like one, or if you're aware of somebody else who would like one, please let the office know, and we will do our very best to get those reproduced and sent around. We don't want anybody to miss out. So if you're aware of uh, somebody who is struggling in whatever way, please, please talk to us. Please let myself know or Anne know. Uh, the office uh, will be manned as much as possible, and the answer phone is here so we'll get hold of calls. You have my number as well. Some form of weekly news sheets will still be distributed. We're not quite sure what the content will look like at the moment. Um, uh, it will pr probably become more of an update and I hope uh, a means of encouragement. And please keep an eye on the church website and Facebook pages. That's where uh, our most, um, our quickest, uh, uh, updates will appear um, so that you're informed just as, as quickly as possible of what's going on. On a wider level, we have an opportunity through this situation to serve our community uh, and to shine God's light into the midst of a very dark period. Uh, we're all struggling. The whole of society is struggling with this. Here is a, a time uh, and, as I say, an opportunity for God's church to step up, for us to show God's love, show the reality of God's love uh, to everybody uh, within the community. I'm meeting with the other um, church leaders uh, in the course of the next day or two uh, to coordinate our efforts and to try and slot in with or indeed lead community efforts um, within the town. Uh, but again, if you become aware of somebody in special need, please let me know. Uh, if it's not something that we can help with, we'll try and get hold of somebody else who can. And if you hear of specific pastoral concerns, please feel free to pass on my contact details. Alongside all of this, I am available and willing to visit where there is a necessity to do so. We need to be sensible. Uh, I don't know if I am carrying the virus, and I certainly don't want to pass it on to you unwittingly. But if you have a particular need and you would like me to visit, then I will do so. Again, let me know, and uh, I will do everything I can to, to reach out to that. Let's all be sensible in the interaction we have with one another and uh, work out how best we can carry on relating to each other as God's people. Just in closing, as I wade through all of this uh, detail, and there's probably more that I've forgotten, 
I'm conscious that it can all sound a bit depressing and is desperately sad. Please don't dismay. Please don't dismay. Our God is in control and our God is trustworthy and he is in every moment of all that's going on. It may not seem like it, we may not be able to see quite how he's at work at the moment, but scripture assures us that he is. Our verse of encouragement for the year asks that we hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. I guess when we were thinking about that verse, we had no idea what holding unswervingly would look like, and, but now we're beginning to find out. But he who promised is faithful. So let's hold on to that faithful one and uh, recognize that the hope we profess in the good days helps us to carry through the sadder days. And the next verse from Hebrews 10 then goes on to urge us to spur one another on towards love and good deeds. Maybe this is a time when the reality of love and good deeds will be seen. Whatever the answer is, please let's keep our eyes fixed upon Jesus. He is with us. He is for us. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for your love. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. We pray for all those who are struggling with this virus right now, for those who are suffering or grieving the loss of loved ones. We pray for our uh, medical workers and emergency workers as they respond to the, the clamor for attention. We pray for uh, all those who are involved, uh, for those who are going without, for those who are uh, really concerned about um, how they will provide for the future. Father, in the midst of all this chaos, please will you be at work. And within our fellowship and our community, would you help us to know how best we can support and love and cherish one another. In the name of Jesus. Amen.